Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Richie Plunker from the Pop Gnome Geek and MMGN.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to keep your Mac clutter free on your desktop. <laughs> So hey guys, so as you can see here, my desktop is a mess. I mean, it's just full of hard drives, folders, pictures, more folders, more zip folders, more pictures, hard drives. I'm just looking at it, it's just everywhere. I mean, the extent where I can go clean up and it's gonna shuffle around, yeah, that looks all right. Better than when it was, you know, a couple of seconds ago. But as you can see, it's all over the place. It's just, you know, when I'm writing articles, when I'm saving pictures, I usually just drag it onto the folder because I'm going to delete it anyways after, but I don't end up deleting it for weeks end. And even if I do try cleaning it up, um, if you can see here, you know, I keep um, some folders popping in Geek 2010. And 2010 is last year's desktop basically put into one folder. It's just crazy. And then after then, it's all, it's all, uh, it's packed. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to show you actually keep your desktop clutter free for free. Now, there is some paid versions of this, um, but obviously, you don't really need the paid version, just some extra perks. Um, but let's get into this. Now, firstly, um, I'm recording this video off ScreenFlow. Now, ScreenFlow is a video recorder, uh, a video desktop capture uh, recorder, which you know captures your desktop, you know, on your Mac. Now, the thing with ScreenFlow, it it is a paid application, but you know, because it does so much more, it's pretty expensive. It's about $99 for the software, which lets you edit your videos, record, capture, add more um, audio, and so forth. But anyways, what ScreenFlow has in one of its updates in 2.0, um, they added this feature called High Desktop. Now in High Desktop, it's really great because you're capturing your desktop, it allows you actually to hide your desktop also at the same time because you know when I'm showing you stuff on the web or anything you know a tutorial you don't want to see all this junk around um, so having this option was really great um, for capturing desktops so let me hit it here and show you how it works as you can see clutter free takes everything off the desktop as if nothing was there and then then again if you want to show a desktop again once you're finished well um, then again if you don't have this software don't worry about it I'm going to show you another way to do that so you can, I'll put a link down below. It's called Desktop Curtain Classic. Now, because it's called Desktop Curtain Classic, it's actually the free version. Um, you know, the pro version is gives you a little bit more features such as shortcuts, it lets you put it in its dock, all these, you know, cool things. But you really don't need to pay for that um, just because it does what it does. As you can see, yeah, I opened the desktop, it's already working, um, clutter free and all good and I have you know two screens right here and that's also implemented that now let me show you how that works so if I go cover items if I go behind items as you can see it's just covering behind but we don't want that we want to put it to cover items on desktop now I'll put it on you know all screens affected all screens if you affect your primary screen that's all right um, you can have stuff on your other desktop and then work from there now the thing is with the free version it doesn't allow you to change your background now that's actually, it, it was a small problem until I found out all you had to do is basically drag an image into the folder. So let me show you here. I got some pictures in my folder. So as you can see here, I got my wallpapers up here and I'm just gonna drag an image into there. And there you go, now that's that's done both screens. Now that's all you have to do. You just got to find your picture you want, drag it, drop it, and there you go. And then that will be your background image. Now in the pro version, you can do everything from the software itself. But you know, it's not it's not a big hassle. You can just have a static background, even though it's a white background or something like this, um, just for your videos. You know, and then once you close the program, it just goes back to its normal settings. Now, saying that this is a free version, and the paid version is only one ninety nine, um, in the App Store, it's not much. It's pretty cheap, but you know, 
I'm not going to pay that because it, it does, I already have software, it already does that for me. Even the free version does it for me because I really clean up my desktop when I'm actually making videos. And when I'm not making videos, I like to have everything out there on the desktop. I don't know about you, but you know, I like to see everything, see what that photo is and have it. At some point, I will clean my desktop, but for now, um, this does the job. So links down below in the description. Hope you like this tutorial and I'll be posting more tutorials like this in the soon videos. Anyway guys, I'll catch you guys later. Keep on gaming.